This is a film about a visit to the beautiful Tofino area of Vancouver Island on Canada's Pacific West Coast. It's a long drive on a narrow windy road to Tofino on the Pacific West Coast of Vancouver Island from the east coast of the island. But there are interesting sights along the way, including the folksy stores at Combs. The mirror-like surface on Cameron Lake was beautiful under the low-hanging clouds. <laughs> Cathedral Grove is home to a stand of huge ancient Douglas firs, some of which are more than 800 years old and stand 75 meters tall and are nine meters in circumference. Apart from Douglas fir, the stand of old growth tree species includes western red cedar, big leaf maple, and western hemlock. Port Alberni, with a population of 18,000, is a deep port city which lies at the head of the 40 kilometer long Alberni Inlet, Vancouver Island's longest inlet. Port Alberni was named for Capitan Don Pedro de Alberni, a Spanish officer who explored the Pacific West Coast in the 1790s. Sprout Lake, west of Port Alberni, is home to the last two of the Martin JRM Mars transport seaplanes that were built for the United States Navy during World War II. These were the largest Allied flying boats, although only seven were built. After they were disposed of by the U.S. Navy in 1959, these seaplanes were converted into water bombers. However, in recent years, they've been idle. At Tofino, we profited from the many available outdoor activities including visiting Hot Springs Cove, taking a bear watching trip, and watching a whale and surfers from the beach. Hot Springs Cove is a 20 minute flight from Tofino Harbour flying on a classic de Havilland Canada DHC-2 Geber seaplane built in the 1960s. The alternative is a one and a half hour boat ride. Our flight was the first thing in the morning, so the clouds were hanging low in the mountains.
The flight passed by beautiful scenery, including a string of wide, sandy, scalloped beaches. Arriving at Hot Springs Cove, we sat down and taxied to the dock. None of the boats from Tofino had yet arrived, so we beat the crowds that would follow. From the dock, it was a one-hour walk to the hot springs over a two-kilometer long boardwalk. There is a tradition of people carving boat names, dates, and messages onto the boardwalk planks. These carved planks make the walk through the old-growth forest to the hot springs even more interesting. At the end of the boardwalk are the geothermal hot springs that pour out of a geological fault at a rate of about 5 to 8 liters per second and at a temperature around 50 degrees Celsius. The hot springs are completely natural so the rocks are quite sharp and footwear is helpful. The hot spring water tumbling over the rock wall makes for a natural hot shower. After a couple of hours, it was time to hike back to the dock to meet our plane for the flight back to Tofino. On our return flight to Tofino, we flew past the hot springs, which were now overrun by tourists. On the return, the skies were clear, so we got excellent views of the Pacific West Coast.
Our excellent flying adventure ended back at the Tofino Air Seaplane Dock where it had begun four hours before. Back in Tofino, it was time for lunch at the very busy Tacofino Seafood Truck offering fish tacos. As it was low tide, we took a bear watching excursion to hopefully see the black bears that inhabit Mears Island. The black bears living in this region are subspecies with web paws that helps them swim in the water. After emerging from their winter's rest, the black bears feed on the shorelines all spring, summer and fall. We had an excellent opportunity to see both adult and juvenile bald eagles. The bald eagle is both the national bird and national animal of the United States of America, and it appears on its seal. Unlike a juvenile bald eagle, the plumage of an adult bald eagle is evenly dark brown with a white head and tail. We watched a crow harass an eagle. This action happens to safeguard their territory, food, chicks, or even to snatch food. We came upon a black bear ambling along the rocky shore. The best time to see these bears is at low tide when the bears prowl the beaches, turning over rocks and boulders in search of crab and other food. The bear stopped at times to graze on the vegetation. It was impressive to see the ease at which the bear moved over the slippery, rocky shore. The bear rambled on and we left him to look for other animals. We came upon a group of harbor seals resting on a small rocky island surrounded by kayakers. Harbor seals are beautifully colored possessing a unique pattern of spots either dark on a light background or light on a dark background. After three hours, we were back in Tofino. Just south of Tofino, Cox Bay Beach is a great beach for beach sports and surfing since it has continuous waves. It was amazing to see a humpback whale spouting just 600 meters from the surfers who were oblivious to its presence. As Tofino was booked out, we stayed at Yuklula and got meals from the Raven Lady Seafood Truck and then watched the boats pass by our accommodations as we dined. And so our visit to Tofino came to an end and we prepared for our next adventure. Take me somewhere nice To some tired island in your 